What's up, fabs and besties? I was at Target looking for some crafting supplies, and I ran across all of these little wooden home decor pieces at the beginning of the store in their value section, with prices ranging from three to five dollars. This one was five dollars. It's a tiered tray, has a little wood finish and some metal. This could make a fun display for some of our miniatures, like the Zuru 5 Surprise mini fashion handbags. If you got a few doubles like me, this could be a way to display them. I also found this tiered riser. It was $5 and it's lifted off the ground, which I like. If I was gonna use this one as a display, I would probably make like a little box for it to raise it up. This one is larger, so you're gonna get more shelf space and the bottom shelf is larger than or wider than the top shelf. So for the same price, we can actually display a few more items. Let's get rid of the blue mat. And if we add these decor stands for $5, I place one slightly under the other, then add a few of those tiny accessories like the wallets and the sunglasses. And let's add a little potted plant in the back. It was $3 and it's a great way to help prop up the purses and create a little merchandise display. It's starting to look like a little miniature store. Let's add these nested wood crates. It was $5 and it came with three. I'm gonna stand one up long ways, then put another one on the side so we can display some of the cosmetics and accessories. I use the last little box as another display to make a miniature boutique in just a few minutes. We can also take this $5 bed tray and use it as a movable wall. I decided to put it behind the counter. It does a pretty good job of standing on its own on a flat surface, however, it can still fall over. You know, because it's not really what it was designed to do. We can also use some of these things for like Instagram photos, you know, for like product shots. You usually can't go wrong with a nice neutral wood surface. This measures a little under 12 inches by 15 and three quarters. We can place a few items on top for those top down Instagram shots for like one of those what's in my purse kind of themes or outfit of the day. Those nesting wood crates also come in white. I thought these would make great like little blocks for doll photos. We can turn them around so we just see the solid side and stack them different ways or just position them different ways. Right now that might be kind of hard to see, but that's kind of the idea. It's to just white out the whole background. Then add whatever we would like to showcase. Add a little light. I like to light the background a little bit. Then take your photos. We can use them for photographing our dolls as well. We can even turn off all the lights and then just use one light source for some dramatic shadows. Here is a wooden dollhouse. It was $5 and they said it was novelty storage. What's really cool about it is that the walls are removable so we can make larger rooms. And it just so happens to be a perfect size for the LOL Surprise family figures. Well, this mini OMG can't really fit through the doorways, but I think we can totally get away with using it as a house for those mini figures. And we can paint it using a little acrylic paint to give each room a little color. Paint on details and printables. I took some of the printables that are available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com, and I shrunk them down. I even used them to make a few new ones. And now we're just gonna cut them out and use a glue stick to glue them into the house. We even have little rugs. So our mini LL Surprise and OMG dolls can feel right at home. 
And we can even add some of the tiny accessories like the toilet to this space. And since we are decorating this space, we can decorate it however we want for the different characters. And when talking about crafting supplies, I am always on the lookout for foam board. I often get my foam board from Target, which we use to make our hidden doll rooms. This is our Froggy & Co. jewelry store inspired by Tiffany's. Today, we're gonna give it a little makeover just because I don't use it that often. I want to expand it so it's more like a boutique. I don't think we're gonna need these counters. And let's make the background a little more neutral with some scrapbook paper. It looks like a painted brick now. Let's cut that foam board, cover them with scrapbook paper or printables, glue them together, glue them into the corner, glue more foam board on top. We can add a little packing tape if we wanna make it shiny, giving us an area to display items. Let's add a few shelves. And I'm gonna add a little strip of foam covered in a wood grain paper onto the edge to create a little lip, giving us a place to display our bags. I covered the inside of the bookcase so we can get rid of the blue there as well. Sketch and cut out a stand for a necklace. I cut it out of cardstock and I'm gonna stack and glue together a few layers. Glue it onto a base. I added a lot of glue on the back for some added weight so they can easily support doll necklaces. I made another box, covered it with paper, add foam board to the top, and I'm gonna glue it right onto the corner. Let's add a vase of flowers, the little necklace stands, and a few bracelets. Fill the other storage unit with some of the accessories. I even added another shelf so we can display all of the compacts. And I didn't get the Tiffany ring, but I had already made my own. So I just put that on the display as well. I removed some of the purses that are throwing off my color scheme. Add a floor extension. I made a small box out of foam board, glue wooden dowels to it with one going across the top to make a small clothing rack. Add a few items. So the store is stocked with merchandise. Then let's add a chair from one of our Versus videos. I think this was from the Barbie Big City Big Dreams Versus. Giving our dolls a place to rest while shopping and completing our boutique in a hidden doll room. So I guess we kind of made like two stores today. Showed a few different ways we can use those fun finds from Target. And yes, we can totally use this as a dining room table as well. Here are some clear chairs from Amazon and they fit perfect. Thank you for joining us for a Target fun find and craft. Like, comment, share and subscribe don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time.